Okay, y'all. I did something so y'all don't have to. If y'all don't want to. This is a compare and contrast situation. So, this plant here was $100 more than this plant here. They are both Gloriosums. Um, this one here is supposed to be Gloriosum dark form. This one here is supposed to be Gloriosum zebra. Um, and the mother plant that this came from supposedly throws variegated leaves every so often. Um, initially, I thought the zebra was supposed to have more veinage. I just made that word up, but more veining. Um, and, I mean, ever so subtly, ever so slightly so. Um, these lines are more prominent, but I do feel like this one does still have, like, slight white lines, but just not as prominent as there um so they look very similar the shape is a little bit different on these plants um so this plant seems to have more of a straight edge um and that's across the board i was wondering if it was just because of like it having older leaves or whatever the case because i was thinking maybe this will become more heart shape but i think this is more of the shape of this plant versus um so i think that this is just has more straight much more straight edges than this one here um because even on the older um leaf it's very much round and kind of just like a different shape the other significant difference that I can see with my eyes is the pink. This plant here is significantly more pink than this plant here. When you turn it around, of course, we do have the pink in the veins, but this is a much more green plant than this. This whole back is pink, and that's for that leaf as well as the older leaf. It's got a very pink back as well i think that the lines going down is pink um this plant also has that but it's much darker it's not as um noticeable um that's different on the plants this kind of that's just different uh, uh, I just got this plant out of um, I just potted it up and it got shipped it, it, it just got shipped um, to me I just received it yesterday so it's a little dirty um, so the other noted mark difference is gonna be this little area here that's just more of a v kind of slit this is more of a u and of course you get more pinkage in the veining on this plant than on this plant this one's much whiter um than this one is when you look at it in certain instances it looks fully pink um depending on how the light is hitting it so um the other difference is that this plant appears to be a much more flat plant it does not have like ruffles in it whereas this plant is pillowy and ruffly and it looks plush um this one looks more flat if we was talking about 2d 3d this is 2d this is 3d um let's see um and i think beyond that those are the only differences that i noticed and it was a hundred dollar difference in the plant same plant different forms um i'm interested to see how they grow i'm interested to see how the how the leaves come out now that i have both of them in my care 
Um, because sometimes plants look different because they're raised in different environments. So if they're in the same environment, I want to know what kind of leaves they're going to put out here in the environment here with me, being that they're going to be in the exact same environment. Um, and I just wanted to test out the two different forms to see if it was a difference, to see how drastic the difference is. And wondering if a hundred dollars extra is the way to go. But I'm into pillowy plants. I like that. Of course, I really like plants with velvet velveteen leaves and I like dark greens I like the fading of the greens I'm actually going to paint this because I don't know that's just beautiful that is beautiful to me but I like pillowiness and clearly I got a McDowell was one of the first real rare plants I bought and that's a cross between the Pastazanum and the Gloriosum. But now I have one of those original plants. This is my oldest leaf. This is a leaf that hasn't fell under my care. And this is my newest leaf, which is interesting because it literally has some different colors on it. Like. And I don't know what that is. I don't know why that is. I didn't notice it on my plants anywhere else. But you can see over here, it's got like this green, this dark green stuff going on. As well as up here, like it almost appears to be slight variegation. This plant ripped when it came out of the caterpillar and I actually had to help it out. But it would have been absolutely perfect had it not got ripped. But it's beautiful nonetheless, even with its little tear. It's unique and pretty. It's gorgeous. Look at it. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So, but yeah. Back to the subjects at hand. So we'll check back on them in a week and see where they are, see how they're looking, make sure they're both looking healthy. Hopefully they will do fine. I'm gonna leave them completely alone. Just give them some good humidity and good sunlight and we will see them soon. Wish them happy acclimation. Mm -hmm.